What's up, YouTube? Hitting y'all up in another video. Okay, so I'm getting sick and tired of seeing this dude on my Facebook wall. Everyone's sharing his shit. Oh, okay, so there's this dude, Trent Shelton. I'm pretty sure you've heard of him. Basically, man, the the photo everyone is sharing of him is um. Let me see it. It's this quote he made. God will sometimes end a relationship for your protection. Don't chase after the person he's trying to save you from. And this is total bullshit. Total bullshit. Now in Romans, they actually state that God backed up from helping people out because you know everyone was starting to turn in sinners and go their own way worship the objects that was created by God but they were not worshiping the creator you know so God backed up this is why you know sin is not prevented this is why rape happens this is why pedophilia happens and all that stuff God lets people make their own decision and he does not want to help you out with it because it's stated in the damn, the the damn Bible, man. In Romans, in fuck, just read Romans for crying out loud. Um, and you know, um, a lot of these people, you know, they probably will, will repent. But also in Romans, you know, when you can, when you apologize, um, for the deed you have done. And you know you you're you're getting saved. You're you're asking for forgiveness of God and stuff. Then you go repeat it. That in Romans is stated as the backstabber of God. You know, <clears throat> there's just so much hypocrisy within this. And um, you know, so God, if you're in a bad relationship, God wouldn't end your relationship because it was on your decision. The whole point of, of you know, being a good Christian is to, to like what it says in that scripture where it says, He who hangs with the wise becomes wise. He who hangs with fools will end in sorrow. So obviously, if you're in a bad relationship, you got to look at who you were hanging out with. You were probably hanging with fools. And that's why your damn life sucks so bad. But if you hung with the wise of the wise, you you will become wise in the kingdom of heaven. You see what I mean? God would not jump in the middle of your dumb relationship because of your dumb choice. I mean, think about it. Think think about all the abusive relationships going on. Think about shit. If, if God has time, look at it like this. Look at it like this. If God has time to jump down and end a relationship to save your ass, why didn't he save that kid who was abducted by some sick fuck? You know? Why would he, why would he do that? You know? Why? You see what I'm saying? God wouldn't save you from a damn relationship. You know? And this Trent Shelton guy is trying... I know what his motive is, dude. I I saw his videos. He's trying to get to the female fan base. That's exactly what he's trying to do. And you know who he's copying? He is copying the hypocrite himself. The guy who supports tattoos. Jefferson Besk. However the hell you pronounce his name. The guy is basically a swag copycat of Jefferson Besk. And, um, you know, he's pretty viral. Um, he's got a shop. Oh, no, he's got a shop. Yeah, he has a shop. And, um, his shirts are like 30 bucks. So, you know he's making some unholy money. Because now you gotta remember, in the Bible it does states, you know... You don't give out the word of God for money because, you know, Jesus was against all that. God was against all that. The word of God is the word of God. You know, just like when I tell you the hypocrites who work for 
or, you know, have their own church station on the TV and stuff. That's hypocrite. That's hypocrite. That's hypocrite. You know, Jesus s spread the word of God and stuff for free. He did not pay a He did not want a fee, you know. The Trent Shelton, for example, he's got, he's getting money coming in, you know, from these $30 t-shirts and Man, if you're trying to become a Christian spokesman, at least do it correctly, you know? Go within the Bible. I mean, jeez. But, um, yeah, the fact that he thinks God is, you know, helping people out with their dumb relationship. Now, most of his videos are directing towards the people who make twerk videos and the people who are fucking drunks, people who go to bars, people who club all the time. Those are pretty much... The people who are sharing his goddamn videos. And it's like you're such a hypocrite. Because you don't even follow by this. Hell. I bet that guy doesn't even follow it. I think he's using it to be a chick magnet. I mean it's fucking obvious you know. I mean you should just hear some of the stuff he says in his videos. Every single video. Every single picture. Is de dedicated for females. The dude's not doing anything for the males, bro. He he has time for the females. Mm, but yeah, for him to say that here, I'm gonna read you the scripture. Let me get my Bible verses out. Got a whole list of Bible verses, so I'm gonna read the part where it states that God will not help you. With these choices you are making. Alright. Scroll down. Let me get this. Um. Okay, here it is. Let me find the part. Okay, here here it is right here. This is in Romans 24, 32, chapter 1. Okay, and this is in the New Living Testament. Okay, when they refused to acknowledge God, he abandoned them to their evil minds and let them do things that should never be done. Their lives became full of every kind of wickedness, sin, greed, hate, envy, murder, fighting, deception, malicious behavior, and gossip. They are backstabbers, haters of God, insolent, proud, and boastful. They are forever inventing new ways of sinning and are disobedient to their parents. They refuse to understand, break their promises, and are heartless and unforgiving. They are fully aware of God's death penalty for those who do these things, yet they go right ahead and do them anyway. And worse yet, they encourage others to do them too. Now, read that scripture and then ask yourself, why would God want to help you get out of your decision that you made when it clearly states right there, God abandoned them and let them do their own choices, which is why we have sin today, which is why there is murder, which is why there is rape, which is why there is pedophilia. He doesn't give two fucks. He's not going to save you from your bad decision. But yet, you know, he's putting it in these women's stupid heads, which I don't even understand why there's women in Christianity. Women are so downlooked on the damn Bible. I'm serious. Why would you want to be a Christian? Out of all the other religions, why would you want to be a Christian? Why would you want to be a Muslim? You see, women have such a negative outlook in these things. Like, they have no choices. They have to abide by the man. You know, and there is a dog running through my yup, and he's pissing on the bush. Man, that, that's a cute dog, too. Can't stand it when people don't give a shit about their dogs and they just let them roam free. I was like, what the fuck, dude? That dog's gonna get hit. But, 
you know. But yeah, like I was saying though, why would God take back what he did that in that scripture? Why would he take that back to come down to save you from a relationship when there's so much more bad going on right now? You know, uh, the kids being raped is just the just a big, a big, huge one that Christians cannot seem to back up. You know, why would God let something happen to a kid? A kid is new to this world. A kid don't know a bunch of things. You know, everything in this world makes that kid happy. You know, why would God want to destroy that? You know, I mean, look at it like this, man. The difference between me and God and a kid being raped or a kid being abducted is I'd get off my ass and do something about it. Because, you know, kids... You know, it's just fun to see how happy kids get over just the littlest things, you know. I mean, like the other day, uh, man, I was up at the store. And uh, this kid was in love with his helium balloon. It, it was the most cute thing I have ever seen. And um, the, the person at the cash register put more helium in his uh, balloon for free. Um, and the kid was, like, so happy. You know, kids, they have... Um, just, just kind of happiness because everything is so new to the world to them. There's so many things they don't know. There's so many possibilities for them. Why would God want to destroy that and, you know, let some pedophile fuck, some sick fuck scar that kid for life, you know? Why? And yet you want to say God jumped down, took back that script just to end a relationship because it was bad. No, you chose the bad relationship. You made the decision, you know? I'm done here. I think I made my point pretty damn clear. Anyway, Trent Shelton quit abducting these females' mind to get some pussy. Because, dude, your motive is, like, so fucking easy to see. Peace.